We are celebrating Carol as Carol celebrates 150 years and quite possibly one of the oldest buildings here in Carroll, well, maybe not buildings, but businesses here in Carroll, is our Carroll Public Library. Joining me today, we have Rachel Van Erdwick, the library director. And Rachel, you know, you're kind of newer to the library. How many years have you been director there? Um, I've been there a little over two years. I can't believe it's been over two years already. I feel like it was yesterday we were talking about you coming in. But regardless of you being newer with the library, you know some of the history behind it. It's kind of fascinating to think about where the library actually started. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the library started um, with the Clio Club. They're the ones who kind of started um, collecting books. Um, it was kind of like their mission to bring a library to Carroll and they got different books donated and so forth. Um, and then eventually they petitioned for the city then to start a levy to support the library. And then eventually in 1900, um, the city took over officially for the library. So that is amazing. You know, I can't imagine a day without the public library because my family and I, we utilize it so frequently. So it's hard to think about that. But back when the Clio Club started it, it was just a bookcase, right? Yeah. From my understanding, it was a room they rented out in some business. I can't quite exactly find out what business it was. I'm pretty sure I have it here somewhere in my information. But then I think they did like a book fundraiser that they had people donate books to kind of get it started. And then I think they had kind of an annual fee um, to rent out books and that kind of went towards paying their rent. And then of course, we kind of got into the more modern day library thing with the help of Andrew Carnegie. Yeah, so then eventually um, Andrew Carnegie, he donated um, a good portion to start um, a new building for the library. Um, that's where the historical museum is currently located. That's the old Carnegie building there. Um, and then in 1975, approximately, is when um, the library moved to the Farner government building, which is where we're going to be relocating to. And of course, right now you're currently in your temporary housing. How's it been going over there in that location? Oh uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well. We have a pretty nice temporary location. It is a little cramped, um, so we'll be very excited to move back. Have you seen some of the photographs of the library through the years and how it's changed through that? Yeah, I kind of like digging through some of the stuff. I saw like some old photos and stuff. So it's very interesting and like the different layout that they had of they had drawings of like maps of where everything was at in the library. So that's crazy to think. So 1894 is when the Carroll Public Library was started here in Carroll. 523 books, a bookcase is how that all started. Going from renting a room in a business to the new future library that's going to be state of the art. Have they given us any information on when we might get in there and get to see that? We're looking at December of this year of moving, so. All right, fingers crossed, everybody Mm -hmm. cross them so that that happens. We look forward to that, of course. There's gonna be a lot of new features in that and the changes through the years is just unbelievable to think of. So from 1894 with a bookcase to the future project in the Farner Government Building where we're gonna see, it's amazing to think of. The Carroll Public Library, one of the longest businesses here in Carroll. Again, Rachel Van Erdwick, Library Director, joining us today with our Celebrate Carroll 150 years feature.